Oh, what is up, you guys? I'm back with another Dragon Ball Z Kakarot video, and today's video is discussing my DLC 3 once again, of course. However, I'm gonna switch it up today, and I'm actually talking about the concept on them adding more playable characters to the third installment of the DLC franchise of Kakarot. So, yeah. But before you get to that, you already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe and also turn on post notifications because you know to be alerted about every video I drop. And I usually drop within like Monday to Thursday or sometimes Friday. It depends how I feel throughout that week. But yeah, um, thank you for support too. But let's go on with the video. Oh, whoa, whoa. So basically, how I'm talking about this concept is basically, you know, um, I'm going to talk about two different stories that work with this concept. Because, you know, I already talked about like three different stories. I talked about a Broly one, the Android Saga one, and the, um, what's it called? Goku Black Art. However, today I'm talking about this what? By the way, there's no confirmed story for the S3 yet. Just, you know, just keep mentioning this case. Y'all, you know, are confused. But yeah, I'm gonna use two stories today that could work with this concept. And that is Goku Black Arc. And I know, I know, I'd probably say, I said I was gonna say this for the DLC 4. But honestly, if they do decide to put this in DLC 3, then, you know, it kind of work with this too. And now I'm talking about the Tournament of Power Arc in Dragon Ball Super. So yeah, let's get into it. Uh, first off, with Goku Black Arc. Uh, when I say more playable characters, like you can play as instead of Goku and Vegeta all the time, you can play as you know more characters, like more side characters. But here's the thing: with Goku Black are, I know you're probably saying it's only Trunks, Goku, and Vegeta fighting Goku Black and Zamasu. However, I feel like you know added pertains to the DLC story in a way, you know, it's the concept. So, what if you could play as a villain? Like we should like roam around with them, do like certain like things with them, like. Kind of like a GTA in a way, but you know, just Roman as a villain this time. Cause I've been saying we should play as a villain, like at least some modes we should play as villains. I mean, not modes, some, some like storylines we should play as villains. Like, imagine instead of playing with Goku and Vegeta, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Blue. I didn't say it. <laughs> and imagine if we play as Golden Frieza, and our task or our objective would be to kill, you know, Goku and Vegeta to defeat them at least. See, like, I feel like you should have, like, an extra option, like, extra mode for that, you know, like, a villain mode and, like, the hero mode, you know. But I know that's a lot for a DLC, but, hey, you never know. They've already put, like, a card game in the DLC, so you never know. But, yeah, imagine, like, you could play as the villains and, you know, we could fuse as Goku and Zamasu to, you know, have that scene and then just defeat Goku and Vegeta and Trunks, you know, as a villain's perspective. I think that would be, like, dope and add, like, an interesting, you know, taste to the DLC. I don't know, maybe just me, but let, let me know what y'all think down below. But yeah, that's kind of my concept with that art, because I would include, you know, Brawly movie and Android Soccer, but it's only like a select few of characters. And I, I know it's probably the same for Goku Black Art, but I kind of want to at least include one of these stories. But, you know, you could probably play as the um, Trunks right before, uh, you know, Goku Black, you know, spoiler alert, decimated everybody, you know. But instead of, like, being Trunks and watching him go through that, imagine, like, playing as Goku Black and you are doing the, you know, decimated part and you know, destruction all that you know as like a villain perspective i think that would be dope idea but yeah um and also my second concept when i second concept my second one topic i was talk about was the tournament of power art now i already talked about this in the video like a while back i did so many videos about this that's probably like two to three but yeah basically i i just go over again just for the sake of this video basically i said that imagine that we was like the tournament of power art and we was able to play as kepler jaren hit um, all the other universes to like you know play against Goku and Universe Seven. Imagine that like at least you know we can have like different boss battles, different transformations, different fusions, all that type of stuff. And you know everything going on, we can, like play as different characters and play as more characters and you know learn about their moves and their move sets. I feel like that'd be a dope idea. However, I did say that this should be the like last DLC for Kakarot. Like this should be for DLC Four since you know um it's kind of like a big thing to do for a DLC players like more than like 10 characters at the time, <laughs> you know, I feel like that's, that's a lot, but, um, if they do follow, like, the transformation, you know, uh, formula, like, you know, we got Super Saiyan God, DLC 1, Super Saiyan God Blue, DLC 2, and DLC 3 could get Ultra Instinct, and if they use that, then it'll be a good chance for them to put that in the DLC 3 start to complete the timeline of the transformation regarding Goku, but, yeah, um, those are my two, uh, stories, or, like, playable characters, you know, concepts, like I said, I'll repeat again just in case. Um, Goku Blackheart, instead of you know playing as a hero this time, well, I guess you could play as heroes like at the end, of course. But if they do put that in game, like I say in the beginning, instead of like showing, oh, yeah, like I said, have two different options, like either go with, like hero mode or 
do the villain mode, like where you just go through as Goku Black and Zamasu and basically, you know, do villain thing basically, <laughs> and you know, have like a diff different perspective. I thought that made the game more interesting, at least the DLC more interesting. Because imagine, you know, you play the first one as a hero mode, and then after you finish the DLC, you go back and play the villain mode. That sounds interesting to me at least. But yeah, that's the uh, Goku Black arc, and then regarding the tournament power arc, you know, you play as different characters like Jiren, Goku, of course Goku, <laughs> I mean Kefla, you know, Toppo, Hits, all them, you know, guys from different universes. Of course, you know, it probably be a lot, but so I'll probably say like main people from different universes that actually, you know, matter. Yeah, because yeah, if you add like to everyone, that would be just chaos, that would be too much, your game would just crash all the time. So you know what I mean by that. So yeah, those are my two concepts regarding the, you know the new additions, playable characters for DLC three. Now, will I think they'll do this? You know, probably not. But just you know, wishful thinking. You know, just why not? You know, just a little idea for them to ever see this. You know, <laughs> they not. But yeah, just let me know what you think down below in the comments about what you know they should add to DLC three and make it more interesting. And yeah, that being said, make sure you like the video, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, and yeah, I'm out. Catch you on the next video. Oh, bye!